to my channel. In today's video, we are going to do the last day of going through all of my books, like Marie Kondo style. So we grab every single book, we keep it, unhaul it, or put it in a maybe pile. And just like with the rest of the videos in this series, uh, please trash all my books. Trash my TBR as much as you want. Make sure that I don't want to read those books so that I can unfollow those ones too. So right here beside me, these two extra large piles are the books that we are unhauling. The books that I'm keeping are behind you and right here but I didn't move them yet. These three piles are the ones we're going to go through today. And then right over there to the side of you is uh, our two large piles that are in my maybe pile. Let's just dive right in. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you are new around here. I hope you are enjoying this big book on haul. First, uh, this is not really a book. It is my old autograph thing. Um, my mom and I went to Disney World and I got lots of signatures from like all the characters. There's like Scooby-Doo, Ken the Hat, Yogi Bear, Donald Duck, or everything like that <clears throat> and it has my name and my old address like old old address when I was a kid um uh, I'm never going to get rid of this this is going to be something that like stays with me along with this uh, um copy of Chicka Chicka Boom Boom uh I actually have better copies in my classroom because this one has like coffee stains and the that's just like so ugly and then I, I don't even know what that is to be honest with you but there's something this is this is just in such bad condition that honestly if I got rid of it I should just throw it away but I'm not going to it's gonna stay with me forever then we have member of the family uh this is by Diana Lake, who was in The Cult with Charles Manson. I've said it in my last video, I think, but I said it in a different video where I'm not really interested in true crime in this format anymore. Like, I just want to watch all the documentaries and listen to the stories and uh, podcasts and things like that. I'm not really a big true crime girly like I thought, like I used to be. I don't like reading it as much. I do like to consume that media, but just audibly rather than with my eyes. I, I don't know. I have no idea why that makes sense to me, but for some reason it does. Then there's Molly's Game by Molly Bloom. This is a true crime book about Molly Bloom who started the first underground poker game. I am going to keep that one though. I know it makes zero sense. Then let's just let's just rip the band-aid off. True Crime Story by Joseph Knox and The Man in the Monster by Martha Elliott. They can all go. Like I said, I don't know what it is but True crime just doesn't intrigue me as much anymore. I like to listen and watch videos, but that's it. Artemis Fowl by Elon Colfer. I just bought this recently, so I am going to keep this. I think it's uh, Artemis Fowl is a criminal mastermind. 
This one has also been unhauled to my classroom for my fourth graders. Who kidnaps a fairy. So that sounds good. I did not like the audiobook, so I will have to read that one with my eyes as well. Oh, I knew this was in here. Ink art. I'm going to keep that because I do want to try that series. I am going to be getting rid of Sophomore Year is Greek to Me by Meredith Zetlin. Uh, this is the second in a four part series. Uh, but I thought that it was sophomore year of college. It is sophomore year of high school and I'm not interested in that. Whew. Okay. Almost Missed You by Jessica Strouser. Violet and Finn were meant to be. Oh, you know what? This one sounds really good. So it follows Violet and Finn who are meant to be. They go on their first family vacation since, um, Violet had their son. I don't remember their son's name, but when they go on this family vacation to this like tropical setting, um, Finn leaves Violet and the baby in the hotel and just like abandons them. So yeah, I, I want to keep that. Then there's the first time she drowned, which is a new to me book by Carrie Clutter. Um, see, I think that the only reason I think, I think, I think that I fell into the books and Lala, like Kayla, I'm pretty sure she recommended it. Ugh. I think it's young adult, but I don't really know. I'm going to try it though, because I did just get it. Okay. Then The Woman in the Dark by Vanessa Savage was the book I was supposed to read this month. I don't like the writing, so I'm going to be unhauling it. Uh, Broken by Shay Keenan. I was supposed to read this for June's TBR. I still have time in June though. No, it didn't happen. I did start it, but I'm not mentally where I need to be to read this. And I don't know if that makes sense, but there are some books, this is like nonfiction, so it's a true story of the horrific abuse that this child went through. And at some point I would love to read this, but I can't do that to myself right now. So I will be keeping it. I just won't be reading it in the month of June like I'm supposed to. Two Truths and a Lie by Megan Mitchell Moore. This is a small town housewifey type of book with like games involved, I think. Then we have Thick as Thieves by Sandra Brown. I am finally ready to unhaul Thick as Thieves. Uh, I've talked about it before on my channel, but my grandma passed away pretty close to a year ago. It'll be over a year when you are seeing this. It'll be like closer to 14 months, but my, my baga passed away and something that we used to bond over was like Patricia Cornwell and Sandra Brown books and uh, it was just... When I went shopping that day and found this at my thrift store, it made me think of grandma and uh, I had to buy some books that I'm not really interested in anymore, but it was just something that like, grandma and I did. So I had to, uh, I had in my way, it was like I was grieving her, but I was also like celebrating her. And that might not make much sense, but at the time it made sense to me. Okay, let's finish this off. So there's One of the Girls by Lucy Clark. This one will be um, maybe. I don't have any maybes yet. 
Okay. So that one will be a maybe. One Italian Summer by Rebecca Searle. I'm going to keep this, but I'm not ready for this book right now because it follows this mother-daughter relationship, Katie and Carol. Katie and Carol were supposed to go to Italy together and then Carol, Katie's mom, died and uh, Katie, everyone is telling Katie to still go on the trip and so she goes on this trip and uh, I think it's how she kind of grieves her mom's death and I, I can't do that right now. Like I can't, mm -mm, I can't put myself in that place. Oh, but I will be reading it eventually. So I am keeping it. Be Treated by Emily Henry. Yes, I love that book. Do I Know You by Emily Wiberly and Austin Sigma Broca. They are a married couple and they write romance together. So I loved that book. I will be keeping it. The Unhoneymooners by Christina and Lauren. I will be keeping that as well. One Was Lost by Natalie D. Richards. So this one was also a gift from my bestie. So I'm gonna keep it. All right, Night Road is this thriller by Kristen Hanna. I'll give it a shot. Lost You by Halen Beck was on my TBR for this month and I barely started it. Um, the prologue was really, really good though. And I am still interested in reading it, but I don't think I'm going to get to it this month. Uh, Thank You for Listening by Julia Whelan is going to be a DNF from me. And that's sad because I read like 200 pages of this. And I just could not get into it. I didn't like the characters. I didn't really like, I just didn't like anything about this book. So I'm going to unhaul that one. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I am not liking the audiobook. So I am trying to physically read this one. I made it 60 pages, which I think is further then last time when I tried to read this book, I think I DNF'd it at 50 pages and unhauled it. I am liking it. It's just kind of a hard one to read, but I'm taking my time with it. And I don't think I'll be done with this in June, but if I keep at it, then I can read like 20 pages a month. <laughs> I mean, probably more than that but I'm definitely interested in finishing this one. Then I have self-love workbook for women. Uh, I started this and I want to finish this at some point. Then America's Next Top Model Mad Libs. So these are all the Mad Libs I did as a kid with my brother. This one is photo shoot number two. Sure is fun. At a photo shoot on the beach, the girls modeled two-piece lights and posed in a series of poops with a clear male model posing as a bite lifeguard, normally a very shy person, Kay, who had landed in the bottom two after the previous photo park, threw caution to the ride and performed a series of brown poses. She flew away the butt crack of everyone. She blew away the butt crack of everyone watching and even got scary praise from Mr. JJ, the show's slow director. She hit the pirate on the head in almost every frame, he said. I've got to tip my wild to her. This was a sink or swim moment and she came through with flying heads. So, some of them don't make much sense. Some of them do make sense, but some of them, you know, it's just my childhood. So of course I'm going to keep this. How do I love you by PK Hallian. Hallian. Um, that's also from my childhood. I will be keeping it. Angel pig and the hidden Christmas 
is also from my childhood. This uh, was signed by a classroom full of people. It says Merry Christmas 1999. This was signed by the entire class when I was sick with cancer. They made me this, a videotape, like a VHS tape, and some cards and just wished me to get better because I had just told my parents that I wanted to die and to let me die. So it was kind of like the little kick in the bud that, hey, people care about you and you need to, you need to kick cancer's butt. And uh, that's going to be a part of my life forever. So I'm going to keep that. Along with that, Amos Ranch Cooking for Kids and Cowboys by Deidre Imus. So it says, for Alita, we loved having you at the ranch. Love Deidre and Don Imus. And then there's also some recipes in here, like vegan recipes, which would be cool to try. And then there's... Hmm, just some like pictures of the ranch and a little information about it, but I will keep that forever. Along with Mother I Love You Forever, those are poems. And then a book about me, a fun way to learn. And today I feel silly and other moods that make my day by Jamie Lee Curtis. So I will be keeping all that. I have one to add to the maybe and all of these are going to be on hold, so I'm really, really proud of myself. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are new around here. And, like, I'm just so proud that I went through all my books. And I'm actually getting rid of quite a few. I'm probably going to put the number here because I don't know how many I'm in, I guess, like, 60 plus if I get rid of any from my maybe pile so I'm that makes me so happy